Hi everyone, it's Wendy Van Wickham from the Lakeshore Museum Center. Today I am joining you from the museum in our habitat gallery. The habitat behind me that we're featuring is the forest habitat, but we also show the backyard habitat, the water or wetland habitat, as well as prairie and dune habitats. But many people don't often realize that your kitchen is also a habitat. Back in the spring, we did a video about capturing yeast in my kitchen and we were successful. We were able to make bread from it and that yeast and sourdough starter is still alive. So we thought it would be fun to update you all on how it's doing and what I used it for, as well as introduce you to a fabulous children's book title called My Sourdough Pet, which introduces your kids to the idea of starter and what it is and how organisms can be living in your kitchen and you may not be able to see them, um, but you can use them to your advantage. So we hope that you enjoyed this little update and we also wish you happy baking in your homes and hope that you and your kids enjoy not only the book that we suggest but also um, just trying a new experiment at home so thank you enjoy so here you can see a couple of the different projects that we made with our starter bagels was the first picture that you saw here you can see me at the office where they kindly allowed me to complete my sourdough soft pretzels um, that me and my family used for an Oktoberfest celebration um, and this is a time lapse of me shaping those pretzels. Um, they had to rise at work on top of our coffee pot and then I cut them into small pieces in here. You can see me rolling them into what they called um, like little dough cigars. And then the last little time lapse video clip will show me actually rolling out the pretzels into a long snake and then shaping in, them into that traditional pretzel shape. Uh, now, of the recipes that we tried, the sourdough soft pretzels was probably the most involved because not only do you have to cut and shape them, you have to boil them in a lye solution, which you have to be very cautious doing, but we were able to do it and our kitchen survived. Um, and here you can see the finished pretzels in my car waiting to make the trip home. And here is the final product. So these were pretty good. Now, we also made sourdough cinnamon rolls, sourdough dinner rolls, and sourdough banana bread. So the book that I told you about is called The Bread Pet, and it's a story about how Cora's Uncle JB leaves her a sourdough starter, or a bread pet, and she has to learn how to take care of it. Now, you need to know that JB did leave her the instructions, but she never flipped it over to find the instructions for how to make bread, and so she just keeps feeding and taking care of the sourdough starter. Now, sourdough starter will actually grow exponentially, which you can see an example of here, and you can talk to your kids about how things multiply like that. In the end, Cora ends up having a really creative solution to have a sourdough starter and a baking class with that starter. So this is just a really fun, joyful book by Barefoot Books that walks your kids and you through what sourdough starter is and what you do to it and how to take care of it. If you enjoyed this little video and you wanna to try to make a starter of your own, you can go to theperfectloaf.com and that's where a lot of the recipes that I used came from and it will give you directions on how to make a sourdough starter. And so does the book, which you can get from Barefoot Books directly or you can also order it off of amazon.com. So I hope that you try recipes, and if you are looking for my family's recommendation, you're going to want to try the PerfectLoaf.com's cinnamon sourdough recipe because, folks, it is magical. I hope you enjoyed this quick little update, and I hope you give this a try in your kitchen. <laughs>